Hi there, my name is Jeff Bagshaw. This is Hashtag Workout with Jeff, and today it's Tabata training. We have a workout that's gonna get you in and out in 30 minutes, high interval training at its best. If you've not done Tabata training before, keep in mind every time we work through an interval, it's only 20 seconds in length, so very short bouts of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest as we go back and forth between a couple exercises. We're gonna get 10 exercises in, in total in our actual Tabata rounds, and we'll get you a nice warm up to prep you for everything ahead and a little stretch at the very end. How's that sound? Should we get right at it? But before we do that, let's make sure we're equipped properly. So you wanna have a mat down on the floor and a heavy set of weights. Medium to heavy set of weights is gonna be best for pretty much everything that we do. With all of the cardio drills, if you're not jumping today, I'm gonna to show you some options so you can keep things a little lower impact. So. Whatever level you are, there should be something you can do today. Sounds good? Shall we get at it? I'm gonna get my music queued up for a warm up and we will begin. Hang tight for one sec. All right, just to get you going, one of you move those feet real quick. So it's like a fast run on the spot, but just keeping it low. Relax your shoulders. Perfect. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now into some butt kicks. So heels up to your glutes, shoulders are back, chest up. Aiming to get that heart rate to climb somewhat during our warm up. At the same time, We'll preview a number of movement patterns that are going to come a little later. Four, three, two, let's go. Feet parallel, squat, and come all the way up. Right now, when I say parallel, your feet are positioned roughly about hip width apart. Toes pointing straight ahead. Sit back into those glutes. As you stand, bring the hips forward and squeezing that butt. Oh, yeah. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, last four, four, three, two. I want to continue, but now we're going to reach down, reach overhead. Reaching for the floor and reaching for the sky. We'll add one more layer. We'll pick up one at a time. Up and up. Think low to high, low to high. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, last one, very good, hands behind your head, draw those elbows back, slide your shoulders down, okay, we're squatting side to side, we're going to go a little wider on this, step up, hold for three, and then bring it in, other side, hold three, two, one, awesome. So now we have a little more turnout in those feet. Once again, getting that butt back behind you. Hold. And in. Now, incorporating a lateral bend. Squat, take it over the side, and then back in. Squat, side, and then back in. That's it. You'll notice one elbow's gonna angle down, the other one up towards the ceiling. Squat. Side and in. Awesome. Okay, last four right here. Squat, side, three, two, one more. Then we'll lose the arms and we're going to pick up tempo just a little bit. Squat, bring it in. Now, aim to get that hand right down to the ground if you can. Squat to tempo and bring those feet right together. Eight, seven, six, five, hang on, four, three, two. How about some jumping jacks on the spot right here? That's it. Always an option, lower here. Excellent. 
Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Next up, hip openers. So one leg round, other leg round. Sweep up and around, up and around. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last two. One more. Very good. Lunge back on that right leg. Hold for three counts, then step in. Do the same thing on the other side. Hold, 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 and in. Lunge and hold. Chest stays up. There might be a little bit of a lean forward. Now lunge, reach up and over. So really aim for some nice extension through that arm. Tilting your body to the side. Watch your balance on this one. Eight more. Reach. And in. Seven. Reach. And in. Six. Five. Good. Last four. Lunge. Reach. Three more. Woo. Two. Get some good depth with that back knee. Now, alternating arms are going overhead. That's it. Palms face in. Moving just from the shoulder. Really extend those arms. Energy up through your fingertips. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Last four. Four. We might have a visitor here too, by the way. Two. Last one. Very good. Take those feet apart. All the way down with those hands right to the ground. Right to the ground. And open up right arm, left arm. Up. And up. Sweep one arm at a time. Up towards the ceiling. Eight. Seven. Six. Your legs are holding you in that lower squat. Last two. Hello. One more. And let's walk those hands out in front. This is Gemma, by the way, if you've not met Gemma before. Okay, lower your hips down. Slide your shoulders into your back pockets. Big breath in. Exhale out. And we'll raise those hips up. So now we're in a strong plank. Hold it there, push the ground away. You're just gonna remain there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, right knee to right forearm and hold for three, two, one. We'll switch sides. Other knee to forearm, hold, 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 and back. Do two more. Hold, 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 and back. Last one. Good. Let's pipe those hips all the way up. Push the ground away. Head between your arms. Big breath in. Exhale out. Soften your knees and work your hands all the way back in. And come out. I'm hoping you're starting to feel a little bit warmer by now because we're going to get right at it. I'll demonstrate your first two exercises, but before we do that, feel free to grab a quick drink. Gemma, are you going to work out with us today? Yes? Okay, to begin with, we're going with an, a lunge back with a bicep curl. So your first exercise looks like this. We're going to keep the left arm at 90 degrees, right arm down by your side, and you're lunging back on just the right leg for the full 20 second interval, okay? So that's what the first exercise looks like. We'll put one weight down for the second one, holding that weight still in your right hand, and it's a wide squat, just like we did in our warm up, and then you're gonna press overhead. Wide squat, press overhead. So both of these moves are strength based. We're gonna get legs, biceps, shoulders, everything like that in there. Sounds good? Eight intervals in total. It'll take you four minutes to work through. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Are we ready? So let's get those two weights in your hands and prepare. I'm just setting up my timer so that we are good to go. Gonna keep good time here. Starting with that first exercise, left arm in position, right arm down by your side. We're going in three, two, one, and begin. So lunge back on the right. Left palm is facing up, but your right palm is facing in. Bring the end of the weight all the way up towards your shoulder. Lunge back, lunge back. 
Last three, two, one, and rest. Lay one weight down just in front of you. Take the other one to your shoulder. This is a squat to Arnold press. So you're gonna step up just the right side. In three, two, one, and go. Wide squat, come in, press all the way up. Notice how that hand is rotating on this. It should end up facing forward at the top. Shift your weight into both legs, get down deep in that squat. Three, two, one, and rest. Very good, pick up the other weight. We're switching sides. That means right arm at 90 degrees, lunging back on the left leg. In three, two, one, and go. So curl. This is a hammer curl with that left arm. Your right arm is working isometrically, holding that weight in place at that midway point. Work into that right thigh, that right quad. Three, two, one, and rest. Very good, lay that one way down. Keep the one in your left hand. Bring it on up. Ready? In three, two, one, and go. Squat. Come up and press. Take that dumbbell all the way up overhead. Open up through those inner thighs. Sit down and back. Woo. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, back to that original side. You're already halfway through this particular round. Left arm at 90. Three, two, one, and go. So some rounds are gonna be just strength. Some rounds are gonna be strength and cardio. You got it all, you got it all. Ooh. Five seconds. And rest. Nice, wave in your right hand, up your right shoulder. Make sure you have room off to that side. Three, two, one, and go. Squat, come in and press. Really attempt to keep that movement fluid. Nice and smooth as we work through it. Couple seconds and rest. Awesome. Right arm 90 degrees. Left arm by your side. We're lunging back in three, two, one, and go. Lunge and hammer curl. 15 seconds. You do realize it's your last time on this side. Hang on. Three, two, one, and rest. Getting your biceps out of the way early on today. Weight up with that left shoulder. Prepare. It's coming. Three, two, one, and go. Up. Are you able to get lower down in that squat than when you first started? Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. You know what? You just completed your first about around. We have four left. Next, we are taking it down and we're going over to our mat. You're gonna need one dumbbell right here. The next four minutes are gonna be dedicated to that core. So we'll have one dumbbell behind your wrist, taking it into a high plank position. Feet are a little bit wider apart for this. So you're gonna bring that dumbbell across and then four, three, two, one. Dumbbell is gonna come across and then four, three, two, one. So we drag the dumbbell and there's four cross body mountain climbers. If necessary, you might even be on your knees for that plank, move that dumbbell across, let's pick up the knees and you can do your mountain climbers at whatever speed's good for you. So maybe even pick it up tempo a little bit there. Then we'll flip and take a seat. Our V sit right here. Get that dumbbell on your chest. Twist into a press. Twist into a press. So down to one hip and then up overhead. Down to one hip and up overhead. Say yes, jump. Okay, we're good. We're gonna get started here. Keep in mind when that dumbbell is behind your wrist, 
You're picking it up with your opposite hand to move it across. Are we good to go? We are starting in that high plank in three, two, one, and begin. Move that dumbbell across. Four, three, two, one. So dumbbell moves and then four cross body mountain climbers. On your cross body mountain climbers. Try and keep those hips from moving. You're not stopping. You're not stopping. Uh uh. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. Have a seat. Our V-sit position. Swing around. Knees bent. 90 degrees. Feet are flexed. Dumbbell at your chest. Ready? And begin. Twist. Press overhead. Twist. Press overhead. Now you can even pick up one knee each time you press overhead. Alternating legs. That's just a little option. You can definitely keep both feet grounded as well. Ah. And rest. Awesome. Let's go back to our first move. Hands on the mat. High plank. Ready and go. As I mentioned before, you are going to be better off with those feet in a wider stance. That's going to help keep things a little bit more solid or stable for you there. Five seconds remaining. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Be set. Jump out of your chest. Lean back. Breathe. Ready? And go. Twist. Press. Twist. Press. Let's flex those feet. That means drawing your toes up towards your shins. Knees are at 90 degrees. Leaning back enough so you're feeling those abdominals kick in. Couple seconds. And rest. Good. Woo. You've done each exercise twice. We do each one four times total. Cock your high plank. Ready? And go. Move that dumbbell across. Four, three, two, one. You have 10 seconds remaining. Oh yeah. What's up? Last three, two, one, and rest. Take a seat. Lean back. Walk those heels a little closer to you. Toes up. Ready and go. Twist, press. Twist, press. Dumbbell down to that side pocket, that hip. And then right up, directly above your chest. Press, press, and rest. Do you realize one more of each of those, and then we're finished with this round. Let's get ready, let's get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Move that dumbbell. As I mentioned before, your mountain climbers might be slower, quick. If you go fast, you'll definitely get a little more cardio out of it. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last time with our V-sit. Finally, three, two, one, and go. Twist, press. Hitting those abdominals from different angles today. What's going on with that breathing? And rest. Okay, we are done with that one. Moving on. Let's get you to stand up again. These breaks where I demonstrate your next move are your ideal time to get in a little bit of hydration. So reach for that water bottle if you want right now, just while I Give you a quick preview of your next two exercises. This one is called a pop lunge into two jacks. So it looks like this. I will demonstrate a lower impact option once I show you this one though. Down together, down together, jack, jack. So two pop lunges, two jumping jacks. Okay, option, if you don't like that pop lunge or wanna modify, you can even go here, we're back, back, and your two regular jacks. One extra option on that, if you just want to go even further, is pop lunge, 
hop lunge, jack, jack. Yes, yes, no, maybe. Who knows, who knows? We'll see how it all plays out. After that, we're picking up one dumbbell. It's gonna start your left shoulder. This is a lateral lunge. I'm gonna to chop to that hip. Leaning towards that right thigh. My left leg is straight. My right leg is bent. Cross body chop. Getting an abs and legs on that. All good? Yes? Are we ready? Four minutes of work, and then you get a little longer break after that again. Okay, so first one, two pop lunges, two jacks. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, and go. Lunge, lunge, jack, jack. I'll go back and revisit your options right now. So it might be lunge rear, lunge rear, jack, jack. Or you can add that air and rest. Woo. Did that one go by fast? Let's start with the dumbbell at that left shoulder. We're lunging just the right side. In three, two, one, and go. Out to the side, bring it on back in. Out to the side, bring it on back in. Breathe through this. I'm hoping that heart rate has managed to climb a little bit, getting you somewhat metabolic here with what we do. Burning a whole ton of calories and rest. Lay it down. Hop lunge, pop lunge, jack, jack. In three, two, one, go. What's it gonna be? Ah! And rest. Carefully pick up that weight. And we'll be stepping off to the left side of the side. That means dumbbell starts to your right shoulder. In three, two, one, and go. Watch that left foot. It's gonna point straight ahead. Left knee going in that direction as well. Stick your left butt cheek up behind you. Hinge of the hips. Look to the ground as you chop and rest. How are we doing? No? Five seconds. Ready. In three, two, one, and go. Our first move. Something for everyone, right? And rest. Okay, it's so our lateral lunge. Off to the right. Side lunge. Whew. Ready? Go. Ah. Is anybody grunting and groaning out there? Or is it just me? Five seconds. And rest. We've now done six of eight intervals on this one. Pop lunge, two jacks, three, two, one, go. Excellent, keep it up, keep it up. You can do this. Five seconds left. And rest. Ah. Weight in your hands, at your right shoulder, lunging left in three, two, one, and go. It's a break after this. Hang tight. Less than five seconds now. And rest. Very good work. You know what? You are way better than halfway through our entire workout. We have two Tabata rounds left. And you know we always save the best for last, right? Drink up. This next move is gonna target your legs, your core, and your back. And then we will have some push-ups in the mix there as well. 
So really essentially working those opposing muscle groups in your upper body. Then we get some legs in there as well. Okay, feet are parallel, squat, row, and stand. Now the thing about this is we're gonna increase the number of reps we do for that row every time we squat. So basically it's like this. Squat row once, and then you stand. Squat row twice, and then you stand. I'm just gonna show you from side. Squat row, next one will be three. So you wanna get those hips back, maintain a long spine. Now, if you wanna go the extra mile, it'll be squat row, and then jump. And then two rows, and then jump. Say yes? All right. Then, weights are going down. We're making our way over to our mat, or anywhere on the floor. And two push-ups, two plank jacks. Looks like this. Push up once, push up twice, out and in, out and in. Now, yes, push-ups can for sure be done from your knees. We can pick those knees up and either jack out, or get another option, there's two push-ups, come up, tap, and tap. Oh, Gemma's in it for the push-ups today. Uh, so there, again, is just another option for you. Shall we do this? Okay, beginning with your squat row, with that ascending set, where we increase the number of reps for the row. Good? All right, pick up those weights, please. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. Option, whether or not you jump today. Drive those elbows up. Don't lose track of your counts. Woo. And rest. How many did you get up to? I got four in a bit, four in a bit. Oh, are you gonna be in my way? Are you gonna be in my way? Ready for your push-ups? In three, two, one, and go. Two push-ups. Hello, puppy. Jack, Jack. Two push-ups. <laughs> She's just supervising over here. Uh, uh, tap if you want. Uh, uh, and rest. Uh, you're working, yeah? Pick up those weights, please, carefully. Parallel stance. Ready? And go. Squat. Row once. Next time it's two. I'm going to keep things a little more grounded this time. Eliminate the jump. But you go for it if you want. Ooh. And rest. Awesome. Or the mat. The push ups. You're just going to stay there, aren't you? Aren't you? Ready? And go. Two push ups. And then we jack up. You do realize you're in the way, right? Right? And rest. Ooh. Ah. Let's go. Wait. Ready? Begin. Row once. Two times. You're going at your pace. Own pace, sorry. Don't feel like you need to stay. Perfect time with me. And rest. Third set of push-ups. Three of four sets. Ready? And go. Two push-ups. Two plank jumps. Make it strong. I still need another five seconds from you. Yeah. And rest. Okay, we've now done six intervals in this one. What was the total number we have to do? Eight, right? So you have two more. Ready? And go. Squat. Row. Were you really ready? Two rows. Increasing that number by one every time. Please watch those knees. Don't let them buckle in at all. And rest. That one is done. Now, 
So back to our mat. Final set of push-ups. In three, two, one, and go. Tap if you prefer. And option again to go from those knees. But do check your low back for a second. That low back starting to sag at all, draw those abs in deeper for me. Yes, it is a moving plank. Abs are fully engaged. And rest. Guess what? That was done now. We have one final to run around. Tell me you can do this. Say yes, Jeff. Okay. I did say something about saving the best to last. A final move is always gonna be a big bang exercise. Two last movement patterns. First one's gonna require dumbbell. Second one's body weight only. Curtsy lunge with a wide row. Now, with the weight in my left hand, I'm gonna cross that left leg behind, row, and then we're gonna bring it up and tap. So we curtsy cross behind, row, up, and tap. Let me show you again from side angle. I'm using my hand on that front thigh, just for a little extra support. Out of the leg's gonna cross diagonally back. Palm is gonna face to, to the rear there. It'll be just one row every time. So this row is different than what we did before, because now we're angling that arm out to the side. Then, what do you think we're gonna finish with? Any idea whatsoever? Eh, I think you might know, you might know. We got some burpees. A little burpee variation for you today. So we're gonna come down the floor, back in, kick, kick. Two straight leg kicks, okay? Or as straight as you can get that leg. You may or may not even touch your toes. It might be more towards your shin or your knee. Option on your burpee, if you're not jumping back today, I want to see this down the floor, step back, step in, come up, two kicks. Now we are going to try and get in a good number of reps with good form. Yeah, one final option on that burpee. You have the potential to bring your chest down to the floor if you choose. All right, all right. So let's get that one weight. We're preparing. That left reach is going to cross behind. We're going in three, two, one, and begin. Curtsy, wide row, and up. Left leg crosses behind. Left arm's gonna row. You're loading up that right butt cheek, that right thigh. Less than five seconds left. And rest. Burpee, straight leg kick. Your option. Three, two, one, and go. Tighten those abdominals as you kick there. Less than 10 seconds. You got five. Hang on, hang on. Three, two, one, and rest. With your right hand, go over and reach for that weight. We're crossing the right leg behind. Three, two, one, and go. Curtsy, wide row, and then stand. Your right foot, if straight back is six o'clock, is heading in the direction of seven o'clock. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Lay that way down. Round two with those burpees. You're getting the hang of this one, aren't you? In three, two, one, and go. As I said, you can go chest the floor. What's it gonna be? Kick it up a notch, kick it up a notch. You can go a little bit harder for the last few seconds. It's three, two, one, and rest. I got good news for you. Two minutes of work left, two minutes of work left. We're starting in three, two, one, and begin. Left leg crosses behind, left arm's gonna row. Very nice. And rest. Always be mindful whenever you put down or pick up those weights. Use good form there. Burpee, kick, and go. Rest. 
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wait in your right hand. Which leg's crossing behind is the right leg, correct? And go. Chest forward. Kind of stick that left butt cheek out behind you. Break the nose and mouth. You need that oxygen. And rest. Look at that. It is our final 20 second round here. 20 second interval. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, come on, come on. And rest. Give it up, give it up. Come in here. I need a nice high five after all that hard work. Boom. So good, so good. All right. We are cooling things down, going into a very quick little stretch. I encourage you to do a little bit more on your own once we're done here. Oh. Breathing. Let's just face forward, feet apart slightly, soften those knees. Engage your glutes and a little tuck under with your tailbone. Hands behind you. Lift those hands up and away from your glutes. Drop your shoulders. Breathe. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's balance on that left leg. If you need the wall, go and grab it. We're going to hold on to that right ankle. Close those knees. Sit tall. Actually, let's take that arm overhead. Big reach overhead. Square the hips. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Shift to that right leg. Begin by that arm. Take, taking that arm side. And then up overhead. I step alongside here. Reach, reach, reach to that hand. Knees close together. Heel to glute. And left hip forward. And feet apart there. Come down. Left hand against that left inner thigh. Rotate. Bring that left shoulder towards your right big toe. Look down in that direction as well. You should notice a nice little stretch through your back. And then we'll switch sides. Hand presses against that inner thigh. Use it for some leverage. Twist and bring that right shoulder over towards your left foot. Good. Hands on both thighs. Angle your toes forward. Carefully reach for the ground. Drop your head. Pick those glutes up. Pushing up to the back of those knees. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Bend both knees. Hands to your thighs. Roll all the way up. We'll step in together. We're going to take hands up overhead in that sort of torpedo position. Draw the arms back. Now lean over the right. And back center, lean over to the left. And back center, elbows go behind you. Ooh. Roll your shoulders, one more time. Arms up, big breath. Exhale out. Congratulations, you made it through. Great work today. And I'm also applauding you for your commitment to the workout to conquer cancer. Great work, stick with it throughout the entire month. And if you ever feel like following along with one of my other workouts, you'll find a whole library of options there for you at Jeff Bagshaw on Instagram. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.